All right, guys, welcome to the second episode of making a rowboat out of pallets. In this episode, we're going to be planking, which is basically putting boards all over the boat. And where are we going to get those boards? Well, pallets, of course. Now, this process is really long and tedious, and it takes a lot of effort. But with the help of a friend, we got it done in a pretty short time. Now the planks off of pallets are really rough and that can cause problems when I'm trying to cut them with a table saw because I might not get perfectly straight boards. So to fix that problem, I ran my hand plane across one of the sides of each and every board. And then when I am at the table saw, I try to keep that flat part of the board against either the miter gauge or the fence. And in theory, that should give me pretty straight boards. Now while I'm squaring up these boards, every once in a while I'll come across a board that I just don't like and I'll just toss that in the fire because I have more than enough wood to spare and I want to make sure that I'm getting the best of the best pallet wood, which still isn't the greatest quality, but it should work for my project hopefully. Now I'm ripping all these strips to one and a half inches. Some boards I'll get two, maybe three strips out of, others I'll just get one and that's alright. Now instead of wearing down the blades of my planer by running 10 pallets worth of wood through it, I'm going to first run all these boards or planks through my table saw at a uniform thickness, and then with the planer we're just going to skim off the top layer. Now looking back, I really wish I would have dropped the planer blades a little bit lower because during this process, sometimes the planer wouldn't take anything at all off the boards. So I basically just ran it through some rubber rollers, which didn't accomplish anything and still left me with rough wood. But there's nothing we can do now because, spoiler alert, the boat's already built. But while I'm doing this process, I'm making sure to butt up each plank with uh, another plank to try to reduce snipe which is basically when the planer nips off a little bit of the end of your board, which leaves a non-uniform thickness. And you also notice these boards are all over the planer blades, that way I'm not wearing down one specific spot. Now my next great idea was to try to join all these boards together so I'd have big long strips through a dado joint. And whether or not that works, well you can probably make a fairly educated guess by the tone of my voice. So I just made the female part of the dado joint and now I'm making the male part of the dado joint. Now the table saw didn't give me really uniform male ends of the joint and that's not its fault I don't think. Part of it is the fact that the boards are rough and when we put an even surface against an uneven surface we don't usually get an even end product. And that was the case here I had to go through and hand fit each of these joints which took a very long time but I figured hey it'll be worth it. Then it came time for the glue up. And for this glue up, I knew that I wouldn't have perfectly flush and tight joints. So I made wood putty out of tight bond three and fine sawdust. I smeared that all over the male end and inserted it into the female end. And a heads up, I'm not going into huge detail here because it didn't work. 
Now, when I went to move these the next day, they literally all fell apart. Not a single joint worked. Uh, and I was really disappointed. It might have been because the boards were moist or the joints weren't actually flush or the glue just didn't work. It might have been a mixture of all three. So I cleaned off all the joints and put Harbor Freight epoxy in there and soaked them in water so that I could bend them around the boat. And as you'll see in the next clip, the joint doesn't work. So I realized if we can't bend the boards, we're gonna have to keep them straight. So then I cut two sets of boards. One set was for the long three foot length of the boat. The other set of boards was for the bow of the boat and those were a little bit shorter. Then I basically cut each of them to length and screwed them in place. Now you probably noticed that I kept some of the joints and that's because they were still fairly sturdy once they dried out. And I kept them on this long length of the boat because I figured that was the part of the boat that would have the least amount of stress where they could still work and uh, wouldn't really compromise the strength of the boat. Now in processing the pallets, I noticed that some boards were a lot harder than others. So I saved the hardwood for the bottom of our bow or the hole, I think it's called, and the bottom of our boat because I figured that's the part of the boat that needed to be the strongest and needed to stand up against a lot of wear, such as the boat scraping against other logs or rocks in the lake. Now whenever I went to make the bottom of the boat, I realized I didn't have enough hardwood. So I came to the conclusion that I could make this angled pattern on the bottom of the boat with a mixture of hard and soft wood, which would not only be still somewhat strong, but it also looked pretty cool. Now unfortunately I didn't get video clips of me finishing the bottom or the back of the boat but sneak peek here's a picture of the halfway finished back of the boat and the bow of our boat and finally the bottom of our boat. So thank you guys for watching and make sure to stay tuned for the next episode of making a rowboat out of pallets.